So it's better to stick with a system of formulas that is designed by one guy, or at least even if they're not all designed by the same guy, that they have passed through that one guy's filter, the filter of his mind, his brain, right? So he filters everything and he adjusts everything through his knowledge, which means everything is streamlined by the way he, with the way he thinks. It's in line with how he thinks, how he operates. Then you can start comparing prescriptions and dosages of herbs in those prescriptions, etc., etc. Structures, you can start to see a lot of consistency, and that makes studying easy. Right? So, so Dunzelding system comes out of a system to treat the 360 possibilities of everything that can happen within one year. In one year, only 360 days can happen. That's why in one year, only 360 types of pathological manifestation can happen. Why does he think in that way? Because his system is based on yang. His system is based on the sun. And because it is based on the sun, it happens to be so that, of course, <laughs> the sun indeed takes, uh, pardon me, the earth indeed takes <laughs> 360 days to circle around the sun in one turn, right? So there's only 360 positions, 360 times 20, a 24 hour cycle, right? Of the earth going around the sun. And that's why there's only 360 possible manifestations of young being off balance. Young being too out, young being too in, young being too left, young being too right, you know, all that stuff. That, you know, so basically, the system is based on young, therefore you have this kind of 360 based system, right? To make it simple, you're going to divide the 360 in fives and sixes, right? Five seasons, right? Which, five seasons in, 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 in the, in the uh, atmosphere, whatever you want to call it, uh, five elements on earth, right? So. As above, so below, right? So if you've got five seasons uh, in the sky, or, or in time, or whatever you want to call it, then you've got five elements on Earth, like right? wood, fire, earth, etc. Et and then you've got five solid organs, etc. So that's the relationship there. And then the six, right? So then you divide it by six, and the six bases and the six confirmations. And the six confirmations on Earth, in the sky, are the six weather patterns. Cold, damp, wind, dryness, heat, you know, those kinds of six. And then those six in the human body, those are the six confirmations. Taiyan, Yamik, Shayan, Jain, Shayan, Taiyan. Right? Those six. So that's the relationship there. So you can split up the 360 in, in fives and sixes and you end up with the system. And the system is totally in line, of course, with the, the ancient hexagenary, hexagenary, hexagenary calendar, right? The 60 year calendar. All right, so it's also, 60 is also 5 times 6 times yin yang times 2, which is 60. Right, so that's kind of how they, it's kind of that kind of mathematics behind it. I'm not a specialist on the calculations of stuff. It's probably because I, I wasn't ever good at math, so I'll never be good at that. I was actually lamenting that feed to a patient today, how I read one, I try to read Wang Bing's book, and I read for three pages, and there is truly not a single sentence that I understood. I can read all the Chinese, but there's just not a single sentence I can understand. He's just like, I don't know, like that's probably why he called it uh, the, the, the secret language of the dark pearl. You know? <laughs> it's like, yep, it's a dark pearl, and it's very secretive because I have no idea what he's talking about. So, Shen uh, Zhu but you know that's that's the guy who's credited with the rediscovery of the system of the five, the five and six of the window chi. But the unloading system is based on that. Knowing that, having that in your mind, you realize, hey, could it be that Dunlop's system can treat everything? Because at, definitely that's what he's trying to tell you, right? I mean, he's trying to tell you uh, 360 formulas. There's nothing. There's no extra possibility. There's no extra 24 hours possibility, right? So basically, uh, there, you should be able to treat everything. So that, the answer to that is yes, you can treat everything with the system. But if, if you want to use only the system to treat everything, you better make sure you're pretty darn good. That's the disclaimer, right? Because all the herbs you need, all the, 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 
the herbs, I call them the archetypes. You've got like primary archetypes, secondary, tertiary. Uh, these herbs, they all represent large events, large shifts, larger macro uh, cosmic uh, uh, steps almost. So they, these herbs embody that. So they're all present. Whatever you need is present in the system. It's just up to you to really be able to use it because it's not a high, it's not a, a system with a lot of single herbs. It's a limited selection of a good 115, 117 single herbs, which is not much if you think about it. But with that limited selection, he could basically fix everything because he's really, really skilled at forming combinations. Right? So that's why what I normally refer to a style of formulism, not a style of herbalism. A style of herbalism, herbalism, herbalism is basically the an herbalist, let's put it that way, is a person who's inclined to think that for every illness there is an herb that exists in the world that can cure it. Which might be true. However, the difficulty there is that you got to find it. <laughs> and it might be grown in some uh, totally uh, impenetrable forest and good luck. Right? Remember Sean Connery in uh, Medicine Man? Uh, exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? Plus he looked really cool. Just, you know, with the ponytail and stuff. Actually, he just beat uh, prostate cancer, so uh, go Sean. Uh, anyway, you know what I mean? Like, the herbalist will always be looking for that next herb that fixes you know, the, 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 the silver bullet, right? That's often what happens in the herbalist's mind, right? They'll prescribe a formula and they'll add a specialty herb because it does exactly, it treats exactly the illness in front of you. Tundalding doesn't work that way. Tundalding basically thinks, okay, Every herb is based on five flavors and two chi anyway, hot or cold chi, and then five flavors, right? So, with basic building blocks, I can simulate any type of allocation, flavor and chi allocation that can possibly exist in the world anyway. And that's basically how his formulas become the new units. His formulas become the units, right? And you can slightly tweak the units by adding a certain herb, but basically it's just changing the flavor and chi profile of the prescription by doing so. Now, why can we do that? Because we can do that because we are trying to rectify, we're trying to rectify a Wu Yun Liu Qi imbalance. And a Wu Yun Liu Qi imbalance, the five elements are off balance. In, in, on, you know, five seasons not balanced means five elements not balanced means five solid organs not balanced, right? And then the six chi are off balance, which means uh, the, the six uh, conformations in your body, which are the, the six channel pairs, which basically means yin and yang are off balance. Because six conformations, they're just a yin and yang system. So, tai yang, uh, so you go from the one splits into the two, right? So the oneness of the tai chi becomes yin and yang. And then you use a system to divide the yin and yang each into three by qualifying and quantifying them. The quantification is just tai, shao, ming, right, for, for yang confirmation. So lots of yang, little bit of yang, bright yang. And then for the yin confirmations, lots of yin, tai yin, little bit of yin, shao yin, and then almost no yin left, jue yin. So it's a quantification of yin yang. So basically, you're trying to rectify imbalance between the five elements, which means the five solid organs, and you're trying to rectify imbalance between the six channel pairs, in other words, yin yang. How do you do that? By using the exact same language in herbs. Five flavors and the two chi, hot, cold herbs. The, the two chi uh, be uh, hot, Yin and Yang, right? Hot is Yang and cold is Yin. Pretty straightforward. So, same thing. So if you, so if you think, for example, you look at the weather pattern, right? Today is, um, well, I, lunar calendar, we're still autumn, right? Are we, uh, Michael, you must know. Lunar calendar, we haven't, I may only know, but not yet, first day of, right? So we're still in autumn, right? So in the lunar calendar, we're still in autumn, so that's our element of, of right now, right? And the weather has been pretty bright and clear sky today, so that's our Yang Ming confirmation today. The Qi of Yang Ming is cool, it's the Qi of Autumn, which is cool, right? 
But you can't say that it's pure yang mi. If it were pure yang mi, we would all be mummified by now because all the moisture would have been sucked out of our bodies, right? Which is highly appropriate for Halloween, however, uh, not true, right? So there still is a lot of tayang cold because it's pretty chilly. There's some Jain wind during the day. There's not a lot of Shaoyin heat. Also not a lot of Shaoyang heat. Whatever heat there is is a bit of Shaoyang because, you know, it's a lesser heat, not a major heat, right? And then, today there was not a whole lot of Kayin there. But at any given moment, any given weather pattern, all six Qi are present. You can never eliminate one. Why not? Because they balance each other. Damp balances out the moisture, cold balances out the heat, wind balances out the circulation of moisture, the fire, etc., etc. They have to balance each other out, just like, I mean, because if not, otherwise one would go completely out of control. Just like in the five elements, you can't just take one out and say one isn't present, and then this whole system implodes, right? So all five are always present, right? And all six are always present. It's just the allocation that makes the difference. How much of one is present at one given moment? So in summer, much more Shao Yi, much more Shao Yang, right? Then in winter, obviously in winter, much more Tai Yang. And when we get into real winter, when it gets cold and damp, much more Tai Yang and Tai Yi, right? So that's kind of the same. Therefore, how do we treat this? We treat it by simulating an antidote for that specific allocation. The allocation of hot and cold. If it's very cold outside and the person, therefore, his illness was a cold illness, we, our antidote, our fix will be the opposite, will be a warm prescription, right? If, it's, if the prescription, if the problem had a lot of yang ming in it, then we'll have a lot of tai yin in our prescription. If the problem had a lot of tai yang in it, we'll have a lot of xiao yin in our prescription, etc., etc. How do we do that? Practically, by having a flavor profile, right? So that's exactly how that stuff works. You're using a flavor profile, and the flavor profile are what we call a prescription. And by having this prescription, you undo the result of the external influence onto the body. Therefore, bringing the balance back to zero. Zeroing out whatever event was happening. Not more, not less. You want to be so precise that you don't overdo it, nor do you want to leave a little tail there. You just want to be precise, and that's how Dr. Jing works. Right? And that's why if you're looking at his system from that perspective, then you start to realize, yeah, I guess Arno is right, but when he says that you can treat everything uh, uh, under the sun. I mean, I'm only talking from externally engendered conditions now, right? Which is um, basically 66% uh, or two-thirds of all illnesses are triggered by an external Right? And that's kind of coming from Donald Dick's preface and a lot of other things as well in the, in the classical literature. Oh, as well as my own uh, experience and my teacher's experience. Now, when you see the patient in front of you, the external event might be years, years in the past. It doesn't mean that, that, they, the, first, that, that the, the, the event of them losing balance with whatever outside of them, with the, with the world outside, with the 6 G and the unit outside of them, that event doesn't have to be yesterday. Most often it won't. Right? But it just might be that they lost balance at one point. It set off a barrage of pathological failures of their own physiology, i.e. disease started to develop in their body. And it never really got stopped. Like that kind of chain reaction never was stopped by intervention of a physician. Or, you know, it was never really rectified. So the imbalance might still be there. And you still might have to tonify young on the surface, which would be kind of... Uh, a guajia based prescription, or you, you still might have to tonify yang on the interior, it might be an aconite based prescription, or you might have to, I don't know, dry the spleen, and that might be a ganja based prescription, etc. Et that might, you might still need to treat it with a formula of the six confirmations, just because, because the problem was caused by an external effect, right? Um, so, knowing that, 66% uh, of illnesses will be covered. And then what's the rest, what are the 33% of the illnesses that, those are the non-external, non-internal causes, and then the purely internal causes. And those are part of the gene pool, right? Those are just part of the gene pool. Now, the purely internal causes are the purely emotional causes. Those are the causes that...